I did say I'd do a more comprehensive P PCSX2 setup. I had a few problems with me crosshairs disappearing and I found, found out what the problem was. There's two nightly builds and I was using the QT version but then after a while my crosshair disappeared and I could not get it back for the life of me. But I've been at this one now for a couple of hours and you need the A AVX2 version otherwise your crosshair will disappear or could disappear it did on mine so you can't see where you're aiming when you're playing light gun games so if you want to download it yourself you use this version I'll put a link in the video as you can see my mouse is actually a crosshair so first of all I'll show you how you can add crosshairs to your mouse so if you right click your EXE after you followed my install go to properties open file location and in here you have cursors Curses are a CUR file. So we go down to mouse settings. So click on start, type in mouse, and it should bring up mouse settings. It might be slightly different on Windows 10, I can't quite remember. This is Windows 11, so you click on mouse settings and you go to additional mouse settings. And this is the screen you want. So you go to pointers at the top, and obviously, I've got mine here. And you go to browse, and at first, these won't be here, you just got the plain boring ones. So, if you just highlight them all, you can drag them across to this folder and it says copy so you just let go I don't need, need to replace them so I'm going to skip these files once you've got them there you can choose hang on whichever crosshair you want I've gone to the normal crosshair green which is here and you just go to open apply and that's it that's your crosshair right guys I'm actually starting this from scratch I never really want, want bad and I'm hoping I can get it a little bit better and a little bit clearer so first of all we're going to add game directory um, I have to remember where my PS2 ROMs are, I'm not just going to do the light gun games this time I'm going to do the whole lot of games that I have got so PlayStation 2 F ROMs right so yeah, you just double click on this go to the folder where yours are installed so mine's F ROMs PlayStation 2 select folder right so that's done just making sure all my gun games are here Yeah, so they're all here. So we're going to see if we can download the covers. So go to Tools, Cover Downloader, and you've got to type in here 
a website. This one I'll put in the description. So you just go right click copy, right click paste. So this should work. I'm hoping. Not all of them will be there. Like the fancy zone complete collection. Oh, it is there. So close. Now that's your covers downloaded. That was um, a made up Sega Ages 1, which was made by a fan, which has got all most of the good games in it. So let's see if it's online. USGR 99998. So we'll go to Google. USGR 99998. See what it comes up with. Right. So it is here. So if you go to images. You got Sega Ages. This is the modded version. But I think we'll go with that format. Yep. So if you go to right click, save image. I'm just going to stick it on desktop. Where's me exe gone? Uh, so right click properties, open file location, and I'm going to drop it in here into your covers. Ooh. So now this artwork we can add. So what we've got to do is right click, set cover image. Go to where your emulation emulator is and to the covers folder, which mine is on desktop, wrong one. Emulators PS2 covers and we've got to look for you ah, hang on. I can't remember what the bloody hell it was now. There you go. And so we just go down to... There he is. Then you just go to open, and that is now set your cover. I'll do the other ones later when I find them. So now we're going to set up the BIOS and BIOS, good browse. Obviously, the BIOS is included. What I'll do, I'll do this emulator, but I'll leave the ROMs out. So you just click on BIOS, select folder. So that's the BIOS done. Right, now we're going to go to the graphic settings. Start with display, got it on borderless full screen. Fit to window, I don't like 4.3, unless it's on a 4.3 TV, because I don't like borders. And have your video aspect ratio, I've got on 16.9. Dintillating, I've kept it automatic. 
by linear filtering filtering you can have a sharp or smooth I'm going to use the smooth and the screenshots I've got as internal resolution or screen resolution it doesn't really matter texture replacements you can download high res textures from different sites online and put them in this folder I've been trying for to get one for fog removal and time crisis crisis zone but I haven't got it to work yet I'll give it some more practice at one point post processing I got FXAA it just makes it look a little bit better and I've got shade boost on your on-screen display this is where you can show your frames per second CPU usage GPU usage this is up to you if you want any of them on or none at all recording only ever use shadow play and advance I've kept all the same I'll just run through a couple of things make sure disable double click full screen as when you're playing games like time crisis you know shooting games if you fire too fast it will go full screen then window full screen window so disable that I always have the speed limiter otherwise the games might run too fast and it'd be real mental <laughs> audio I don't bother changing anything on that except for a volume I need to try and do the network at some point I put on advanced features but you don't need them on unless you've got a particular game you're having problems with where you can change clamping mode it, it might work but remember to change them back otherwise you can cock up all the other games right, as we had per game settings if you right click the game of your choice right click go to properties for instance black oh my god how long did the videos take you're talking like some videos like 15 minutes you like I've played it so many times I know <laughs> you know the story anyway so if you go to game fixes for instance on this one if I can find it skip mpeg hack so that will skip the actual full motion videos and you know if a game like I, I know I think it's um, Sega Rally that never seems to work right unless you have software rendering but software rendering is very slow pretty much they tell you what everything does but I, I hardly ever use any of these and for instance you know if this game's running too slow you could turn down the resolution here the rendering so uh, you know you've got your your main graphics options but you can change it per game works with any game I might try to take a rally again later see if it actually renders properly now right now guys I'm going to go on to the controls first of all I'm going to set up my controller you have a lot of different options for Xbox 360 I'm using DualShock 4 enable mouse mapping if you want to use your mouse on the games so here we'll choose um, I'm using PS5 controller so it, you just click on each one and then move the button on your controller
Ooh, one, one. You know, there's not a lot of games still have the option to have PS5 controller, so it's quite nice when you do, so you don't have to mess about with DS4 now. Right, that's my controller set up. You can, like, save it so new profile and I'll go default click OK do you want to copy the bindings you currently selected yep to new profile so then when you go to load you can load different profiles default or shared and I'm on default. Right, now, USB 1, this is gonna be your light gun input, or you can choose different inputs for it, but I'm gonna choose the light gun. So you go to USB port 1, wheel device, mass storage device. There's quite a few different ones you can have. It's like the mouse, this is a um, silent scope uses a mouse so pointer all you've got to do left click the mouse and then move it and that's done and obviously your left mouse button right mouse button and middle mouse button and we go to new silent scope okay and then click yes so you can see nothing's connected so you'd go to load profile silent scope go yes I was having a weird issue fit why now we'll go to USB this is for like you like gun games and mouse and wheels and there's all sorts here so you go to not connected and go down to I'm gonna do mouse first this is for games like silent scope so this is your mouse movement so just click on it and move the mouse then you've got left button right button and middle mouse button so you go new folder then this is Silent scope, click OK. Do you want to copy all bindings from the current selected profile to the new profile? In yes. So now you should have silent scope and default. So you can go to load profile yes and now you have your mouse settings so now we're going to do usb here it's normally set as not connected so if you use the drop down menu you've got wheel device singstar usb headsets and the whole host some games like gun games use the mouse some use gun con too so we start with the mouse pointer is your mouse movement so you just click on it and move the mouse then obviously left button click 
click again, right button, click, click again, and the same with the middle mouse. Now we can save these now. So you could have new profile, silent, click OK, click OK. Do you want to copy all bindings from the current selected profile to the new profile? Yes. So now you have your default for your gamepad, silent scope. Now we're going to go. You always have to select the thing before playing the game, so. Oh. Silent scope, load, yes. And it's there. <coughs> so for time crisis, we want to go down to guncon 2. So that one, the D-pad I have as W, S, A, and D. Trigger is obviously your left mouse for firing. On this one, it's B button for time crisis to hide to reload. Shoot off screen, I'm having this middle mouse, but you don't need it because you reload with that one because most shoot off screen, that, that's how you reload. Calibration shot, this is for calibrating the light gun when you're playing the time crisis games, otherwise you can't see the crosshair properly. So click on that, and I'm using space. A and C, I'm having side buttons on my mouse. Select, I've got backspace, and start as enter. Go to new profile, time crisis, okay, yes. Oh, no, that one, gun con two, time crisis, load profile, and it's there. Uh, you find that if you want to then change the silent scope it will change the profile but you still have to change this manually it's a pain in the ass, but that's how it is so we go to close right now i'm going to add reshade this is personal preference you don't have to but it will be included in the files but you won't have the roms in this one so it'll be a small download so I'm going to reshade. Ah, oh, wrong one. Sometimes the add-on one blocks like MSI Afterburner. No, no. Oh, I'm going to Lally now. Me. I am going to do Lally guys this one here works without having to mess around with the Vulcan to have it on and off this one works automatically so I'm gonna double click browse for your location desktop emulators light gun PCSX2 open and go to next and we want Vulcan with this this is a um, process where you can add MSAA, TAA, different colors, color enhancements um, on some emulators you can add depth of field um, and ray trace global illumination You just go next to next. This has got like SSR, MXAO, it's quite a good one. Color effects where you can take out tinges out of games and stuff. Depth 3D, I always put it on. I'm just doing the ones I like comic. <coughs> And 
there's like on Doom you've got like flashlight that you can use and for people who like CRT effects which I don't I think that's it Oh, cloud in oh, a virtual reality. Oh, that's the one I missed. And just go to next, 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 next. And go to finish. Right now, if you open up this one, this is reshade rtx but i don't it never used to work on pcsx2 but we'll still put it in so you open up your reshade shaders and just copy these across and that's done right now we're going to try some games i know with black there's a couple little issues um, obviously game fixes have got skip mpeg hat and I have rendering as spin GPU on and spin CPU on and I got scale differing and blending accuracy full which obviously on some computers that will slow down like hell but on mine it works fairly well we got global settings or recommended but most games run absolutely perfect with the initial setup just found that a couple of little liney effects that you couldn't see that noticeable but I thought I'd get rid of them that was all Get out of it. Right up here, there's some grenades.
Right, there you go, go, just black. Well, I'll just show you like one of the time crises working. Just gotta make sure the controls are set up. Yeah, gun con two. See, if you choose the ever emulator, you can't see your crosshair, and you need that to actually see where you're aiming. Oh, that's pretty dead on. And to bring up reshade, you press the home button. Time crisis two. Bring up home button and press continue. And you have things like fake HDR. So type in HDR at the top. And it'll be here. You've got things like um, clarity. So you type in clarity. makes it a bit sharper still don't think you're going to hear me very well so settings audio see how loud is it So that's Time Crisis guys, and I'll show you one more thing before I go. I know it's a bit long winded this video, but to do your memory cards, so settings, uh, memory cards, I'll eject them, I'll delete them to start with. So to set up a memory card, you go to create. It's always best to keep them on 8 meg because they're more compatible. Type in a name, click OK. So now all you have to do is drag it up to here. Then I'm going to create a second one. and drag it up to here. As you can see, these are not formatted. So you go to close. Then you go up to system, start BIOS.
Press enter. English X. It don't really matter about this. Go to your, down to your system configuration. Or it might not be that one. So I'll go back, browser. Ah, here you have your memory cards. So X enter. Format, yes. Format complete. Then go to the next one. Format, yes. And that's it, that's done now. So now hit enter, close game. And now if we go back to settings. Why didn't that save them? Should have done. Ah, it does. So there you go. Sorry, I'm being a donut. <laughs> it's now they're showing us formatted. It's just me having this see fit. Well, well, I hope you actually um, find this a bit more sensible on the emulation side. It's taken a hell of a long time to do this. Free trial and error. But I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Cheers.